today we would like to present a research with title activity recognition using minimal distinguishing subsequent mining. In general, this research are mainly discussed about activity recognition based on the given sense of data by discovering its minimal distinguishing subsequent pattern. And basically, we know it as mining sequence pattern for classification. Before we go in further, allow me to introduce our team. Me, author one, and my partner, author two. For the outline presentation today, we have five parts. First part, introduction. In this part, we will describe about activity recognition and our main purposes. The second part, we briefly describe about mining minimal distinguishing subsequent pattern. The third part, we explain our purpose method. In the fourth part, we show the pre-processing data and of course, we show the evaluation performance of our method. For the last part, we summarize the work. So first, starting with Internet of Things stuff, one of IoT application is Smart House System. In this system, we can plan to build a safe and convenient environment for health monitoring and elderly life management system. Part of it, we play on activity recognition in smart house system. So, by learning from sensor data collection with activity level information, we try to recognize activity in the next moment. It is also known as supervised learning. In specific, we map the income trigger sensor data to a certain activity level. For the current works, there are several studies about activity recognition using machine learning, such as hidden Markov model, super vector machine, and naive bias. In this research, we focus on re activity recognition using data mining techniques. For instance, association rule approach. However, we think association rules may result in poor predictions. Since association rule doesn't consider temporal relations, therefore we focus on sequence pattern mining to better prediction result. The main goal of this study, we aims to recognize the activity of resident by learning the sensor motion data as short as possible. To do so, we distinguishing each sensor motion of activity. So here, the main method that we will develop, there are three main stages. First, candidate generation using deep first search technique. Second, we calculate the support with satisfying given gap constraint. And the third stage, we prune the non-minimal patterns so we can get minimal distinguishing subsequent pattern. However, in this research, they are only considered binary class classification. And the domain of data, basically on text data. Hence, we develop this method to fit activity recognition as multi-class case problem. So here, our purpose method. Basically, it is similar with the original one. The main difference from the original one is we projected the sensor data into sequence form based on the activity and the region. And the generating patterns will be fit with multi-class classification problem by using one versus all strategy. So next, we explain about the pre-processing data step. First, discretization data. In this step, we try to enrich our data by discretize the data with time interval one minute for each sensor. Then, we transform our data into sequence form. 
we consider the event as the triggered sensor in one activity. And here, the number of generated patterns based on the parameter alpha against beta, where alpha is a parameter to obtain frequent patterns and beta is a parameter to decide how distinguishing our patterns on other classes. And here, the confusion matrix of our method Here is the computational time. As alpha value is getting bigger, then the number of patterns will smaller, mean the execution time is faster since alpha is a parameter to control the frequent pattern. As a gap constraint is more than two, then the computational time is more expensive because the gap checking for each activity when there is no minimal pattern can be found. So here's the conclusion. We propose a method for activity recognition in the IoT environment based on MDS mining or minimal distinguishing subsequent mining. The method extends the usual MDS mining method to a multi-class version. There are two parameters namely alpha and beta, to be decided in the method for checking the frequency and the infrequency condition. Moreover, the overall accuracy is 86% on the fan caster data set, which consists of four different activity for recognition. And that's the last of our presentation. And now we move on the Q&A session. Thank you very much.